similar to what took place here now with UPS 2976. Let me read to you the pertinent uh, report from this because they're saying that's exactly what happened with the MD-11. It says, after initial cleaning of the fractured fracture surfaces, examination of the left pylon aft mount lug fractures found evidence of fatigue cracks in addition to areas of overstress failure. So let me compare those two. An overstress failure is when something just gets, it gets ripped off, right? Because of the, the stress on it, it overstressed. So that forward mount was fine, but when the aft mount let loose, it was just a matter of time until that forward one let loose because of overstress. But the fatigue cracks are the ones that cause the initial failure of the aft mounting point. So the aft mounting point gives way, it causes uh, an overstress in that aft mount, it also causes an overstress in the forward mount. On the aft lug, it goes on, on both the inboard and outboard fracture surfaces, a fatigue crack, they list how big it was here back in 1979. They say the, the one on a DC-10 was 13 inches long. They don't say how big the one here was. They just say a fatigue crack was observed where the aft lug bore met the aft lug forward face. It sounds almost identical to the wording of the DC-10 incident back from 1979. Uh, for the forward lug's inboard fracture surface, it says now uh, fatigue cracks were observed along the lug bore. For the forward lug inboard fracture surface, the fracture consisted entirely of, circle it and put it in all caps, overstress with no indication of fatigue cracking. So in contrast, in juxtaposition to that aft mount, which had the fatigue cracking, the forward one only gave way because it was overstressed. Same thing happened here with American Airlines Flight 191. Now, the findings in, in, uh, back in 1979, the conclusions from this report were that there was really nothing wrong with the design of those mounting points. 